president baro the president of the republic of the gambia was at the national assembly again to catalog his achievements somebody will a president adama baro banco president a gambia banco la president a telebe national assembly a bumbato kotake dipitel nyatli wala a president baro adiamu ta kola ala mansa kunda gambia mansa kunda sain santeng a ala nyaton kaya kodo ye kol mul a soto biri nata a mansa sira kang a birate nata gambia mansa kunda a ye kol mul ke gambia di wule anum fanang a kol mu yalon ko wolem kale wolti a enila development on nyil tema a president baro talks about a coronavirus which is the stopping a the country and he also talks about the impact a coronavirus puts on the gambian economic system but in a president baro adiamu da kola a bar mo jamale mum fo eko president baro ay kumol mul fo jang anin a santam bilal ay kumol mul fo a femme fata fo coronavirus coronavirus adam kula dem yalon ko a president baro ya bambandi ala diamo kono kende ke kende ke kende ke ko coronavirus kula mu yalon ko ay mol batandi le kende ke kende ke kende ke andum fana han sang abe mol batandi kan andum banko la fanko ay batandi le kende ke kende ke kende ke Another important point or action we picked from the National Assembly today. We have been all seeing the president wearing the face mask before his speech. But during his speech, the president decided to remove the face mask. Mbadi ngolo a ku fanang a keta a National Assembly kono bi mi yalon ko ay mo jama jakala mo jama albe comment kan a on social media. Iko president Adam Abaro mo le madi mi yalon ko a ay face mask ko dunne ay a da ana nung ay mural nung a janning akadia mo da muta bar bring a canadia mola president baro yo bondile an deputy doje mi yalon ko adi amuta a pro a speaker a madam dentena bravo president baro e ay a face mask do katon wala national assembly la loi ti anim fanan corona virus pour ka mol tanka aya fan tanka a bari president baro me nata ji ay speaker jibe bari anara tenten ala diamola amana face mask do can you ask the president to put on the face mask since it's the rules of the parliament Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Wakata kudi amu yalonka mo jamaja kal kende ke kende ke kende ke amu alba comment kang abaringa health minister jela doctor samate ako a president yoke dalila kang ako ni molma long amu nan dalilo di water molma nyana kadiam. When we say the first mask rules, and of course you did know also that there are quite some exceptions, conditions which may warrant wearing the face mask or not wearing the face mask as time. There are those exceptions. There are people sometimes when they speak. And how long was that speech? It was, it was a very long speech. So when some people speak with the first mask for that long, sometimes it creates challenges for them with regards to breathing and so on and so forth. So sometimes before people speculate, we need to know the reasons behind. That was the short interview of the chief editor at Fatu Network, Lamin Jaihat, with the Minister of Health, Dr. Samate, after the speech of President Adama Baro. President Baro did not only want to stay for five years, but if he is given the chance, he will stay for at least 15 years, says Coach Pasambajau. Mbadi mulu a Coach Pasambajau. Atafana mu Gambia dingo di miyalonko akamama Gambia kuoto kendeke kendeke kendeke. Coach Pasambajau is an activist, a human rights activist. He is always talking about the current issues in the Gambia, either negative or positive. Mbadi mulu a Coach Sambajau, Gambia dingo le mati aka mama gambia kuoto coming afa le nyamen a wato wati gambia ku aka diamala ko kundin am yalon ko abe gambia batandi kan anin ko kundin mo gambia la nyato tati coach pasam bajaw aka fintile a diam coach pasam bajaw atala diam ta kota ke kai tandi ko a president adama baro the president of the republic of the gambia a gambia bankola nyato ko coach pasam bajaw ko adama baro a sanji sabo a mi yalon ko a gambia din wallahi do wala kabe tlaje wo sanji sabo amanna wallahi do timandi coach pasam bajaw ko a adama baro sanji lulo nyi mi yalon ko abanga bakan akonin adama baro ya soto abe tarla gambia banko kane komi gambia banko la president fo sanji tang ani lulu
Coach Pasan Bajau is not happy that the Gambia produced only three presidents from 1965 to date. Tambadi ngulu a Coach Pasan Bajau wa aketa moti miyalong ko amang kontani a Gambia Banko kabini 1965. Gambia afan soto kanabula fo bila a Coach Pasan Bajau ko Gambia. President Saba Damban Damban Damban. Ngolo soto. A Coach Pasan Bajau la India mo nata abiring Adama Baro a President Adama Baro ala kumakangol a Aye Banke National Assembly. A Coach Pasan Bajau ke a Dipitel Mulyalonko Wolebe Gambia National Assembly. A code a soin a two things Mulyalonko a Molie Sute la Karola Kendeke Kendeke Kendeke. Number one, total lack of patriotism. A Wolem Kake Bankudin Kendoti, a code Dipite Dolby Mulyalonko a Dipite Bunkono. Banku din kende ya ila banku din kende ya ima itandi anumfana number two. Total lack of understanding the document they they want to critique. Ako andum fana kaitol mi yalongo ekol landi koto kaitol mi yalongo adol kadi amala kuola eka kaitol mi la kuol akajafi kumakan muli bije kumakan muli yalongo etel mahana alom fang mu kumakan ne bije barika akajafi imukasong kumakan muli nda. Ako gambia tibite bungo na nyimosi fal de bije a nyimosi fal wale siate kona je alengan lamai coach pasamba jau la a human rights activist coach pasamba jau who is always active in talking about the current issues in the Gambia. This is Active TV Update. I listened to the president's speech today and I was expecting that he would come and speak forcefully on why it is important for the Gambia to enter into a third republic by passing a constitution that is forward-looking. But yes, he mentioned the constitution, the draft, but just in passing. That to me was not surprising, but was disappointing. I have to say that. We've also seen yesterday at the National Assembly, it was, I think, Wednesday, the debate. And to hear people make some of the most Retrogressive, retrogressive arguments against the draft. But one thing that we Gambians must not settle for is for something that is supposed to be in the interest of the whole country to be hijacked by a few for the interest of a few. Whatever Gambians are supposed to do that is supposed to be Gambian, must be what is in the interest of the whole country. And I want to remind the National Assembly members that they must be guided by the Constitution. I think it's section 112, section 112, which says that whatever decision they make in the National Assembly must be one that is guided by what is in the interest of the people of the country and not in the interest of a single individual. In his speech today, the President had said something that really captured my mind, and I hope he means it. Because he said that my conviction is that whatever our position or belief may be, we should always concede to the national interest and forego selfishness. The president is telling us, the whole country, that whatever beliefs we may have, ultimately, we should do what is in the interest of the country and not one that is in the interest of a single individual. Let's look at this draft constitution. Is it perfect? No. Show me a perfect constitution around the world. That's my challenge to anybody. But to hear people who argue against it, sent their argument on only one thing, that there is a primary problem that Barrow and his people have. And that is the term limit. And the term limit is what? That we as a people do not want any other president to serve our country for more than two terms. Ten years, period. Be a president for ten years, that is if people decide to re-elect you, and go and live your life. In retirement as a former president with all the perks that come with it. But Mr. Barrow, who had agreed that as the coalition candidate, 
that if he were to win the elections, he would only serve for three years. He reneged on that promise and said, I am staying for five years. He said, okay. He also reneged on another promise that he would not even seek an other term that is to succeed himself. What he was supposed to do was to help us organize free and fair elections. But he said, you know what? I am also going to renege on that. So what was supposed to be three years became five years. What was supposed to be only three years and not serving an other term, now he is now wanting to have an additional five years. So in essence, what Barrow is telling us is not, not only am I interested in having, being your president for, for three years, which I said no, five years, which I said no. I want to be president for more than 10 years. And if Barrow has it his way, he will be president for at least 15 years. You do the math. From 65, 1965 to date, the Gambia has always been able to have two presidents. Because people have always felt that being president is more important than addressing the needs and aspirations of the Gambian people. At least giving people chance to be able to show what they can do for a country. We've seen a lot of National Assembly members who have spoken so far. Some of them have shown two things. Total lack of patriotism and to total lack of understanding of even the document that they want to critique. Listen, we cannot continue to be transactional in our country and in our governments. Those who are now supporting the president and his cabinet's desire for Barrow to continue to be president for the con of the Gambia until he gets tired of it are not doing it for the interest of the Gambia. They are doing it for the interest of an individual and that is Adam Barrow. And we as a people must reject that. The National Assembly members are expected to do what is in the interest of the Gambian people and not what is in the interest of a single individual. The reason why 53 members were voted in was so that they will be able to represent the interests of the 2 billion Gambians. And here is what we can do as a people. The first challenge that I have for Gambians that I want to suggest. If you believe that, ultimately it is the Gambian people who should decide whether this uh, uh, draft constitution should pass or not. I'm not saying whether you support it or not, but that whether we the people should be giving a chance to go to the polls and decide whether we support it or not. I am urging you, if you can, do a video of why you support the constitution to pass, to be passed by the National Assembly so that the Gambian people will be given the ultimate decision to decide whether it should be, become the laws of our country or not. That's what I'm asking you to do. If you believe in it, make an audio, do a video, make a first, first Facebook uh, postings or Twitter or whatever. But let the people hear that we, the Gambian people, expect this draft to come to us so that we will eventually design, uh, uh, sorry, decide whether it should be our constitution or not. If you know the members, any member of the National Assembly, I am urging you to call them. They are all on WhatsApp. And ask them to give us, the citizens, the opportunity to decide whether this constitution is fit for us or not. We cannot continue to allow our interest, the general interest of everybody to be held hostage by politicians. What President Barrow and his supporters must understand is that Barrow's presidency 
came at a very, very high cost. It did not happen as a result of something that was normal. It was not normalcy. It happened because of the many Gambians who perished over the past 22 years. The people that were killed, the people that were raped, the people who were tortured, the resources of our country that was pillaged to the extent that the development that was supposed to happen to benefit our people was nowhere. This is why today, every day you go to Facebook or read the papers, we're talking about women, our mothers, our sisters, dying at hospitals. During the course of childbirth. That was as a result of decades of underdevelopment. So the thing that Barrow owes the Gambian people, the one thing that he owes us, is at least to make sure that this transitional justice system becomes a reality. Gambians deserve more than people politicking with their lives. We are not asking Barrow to do any more than he can, which is what? To end so that the people that they are having in the National Assembly telling them, do not vote for this, vote it down, frustrated. That they should cease and desist from that nonsense and look at what is in the general interest of all Gambians. This is not about Adam Abaro. This is not about Halifa Salah. This is not about Usainu Dabo or any other leader. This is about the Gambian people. What is important for us to note when 1994 came, when the IDM came to power and started writing those decrees that restricted fundamental rights and freedom, there were people who were very short sighted in that what they saw was. What, 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 just what was in front of them. The opportunity to be close to Yahya Jami. By the time they had helped Yahya Jami to entrench him in power, they ended up all becoming, becoming sorry, victims of Jami. And 25, 26 years later, since Jami became president, here we are trying to undo the serious damage that he had done to our country. Adam Abaro will not be president forever. Heck, Adam Abaro may might even be defeated in 2021. Now, can you imagine if you sit here, try to drill a process that would help us to build a viable democracy. And then, the Adam Abaro that you thought you were going to protect is not there anymore. He's been defeated. Because if Yahya Jabe could be defeated in elections, Adam Abaro can definitely be defeated in elections. Now you find yourself on the other side. Maybe you are in the opposition now. Will you be able to look at Gambians in the face and tell us that you are interested in democracy or what do they call it? Term limits? You will not be able to do that. So this is why we have to look at the bigger picture. Because the bigger picture is for us Gambians to collectively decide whether we want this draft or not, but we don't want it to be held hostage by 16, 17, 18, 19 members who are doing it not for what is right for Gambians, just because of they are doing it to satisfy the whims and caprices 
of one individual that is uh, President Adama Baro. The decision to reject this constitution must be made by Gambians. That is the Gambian voters and not by a few, few men at the National Assembly. I've spoken to a few people and I'm going to continue to call all these National Assembly members to engage them on this issue. But to me, from what I'm hearing from those that are talking about it, I don't even believe they believe what they're talking about. To them, what is important is, you know, what Adam Abaro is saying it. He wants us to, 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 to vote against it so that he will continue to be president. Oh, we do not agree with the retroactive uh, 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 language of, of term limits. Come on now. Let's sacrifice something for the Gambia. That's what I'm asking for. You're telling me Adam Abaro sacrificing five possible five years of presidency? should mean that the Gambians would continue to be held hostage by a constitution, which is the 1997 constitution, which has been amended anywhere between 53 to 58 times. Nobody can even tell you the correct version of that constitution. Gambia deserves more than we are getting from our so-called leaders. Give us the opportunity to at least have term limits. There is a reason why Ghana is thriving now. They are thriving like no or nobody's business. Because of what they have term limits. You come, you do your term. When it is done, somebody else comes with fresh ideas. That's how countries move. Anything else they are talking about, this whole thing. Uh, in fact, I've seen this thing that is going on. Oh, they say that uh, there is a provision talking about marriage. It should be between adults. Uh, that would open the door for gay marriage. That's a lie. Read the draft. If I get it right, I think it's section 54 of the draft. And what it says is, consulting, consenting adult woman and man Consenting adult woman and man. But anyway, I didn't want this video to be long. All I'm urging again, appealing to everybody, is if you believe that we, the citizens of the Gambia, must be the final decision makers on this draft, please make a video. Write a post, have an audio, call a National Assembly member and do it. But we must not allow this bill, which is the 2020 uh, 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 draft, the 2020 Constitution prom Promulgation Bill, to die at the National Assembly. It must not be killed by selfish politicians. And I can tell you that all those that are telling you in the National Assembly that they don't like it, are doing it because they are under the control of Adam Abaro and his people. We know the cabinet and, and, and their, their, their attitude towards this. And there is something that they are doing that is very hypocritical. Watch it closely. They will tell you, oh, this uh, very pro progressive uh, uh, constitution, uh, I, I really like it. But they are doing that, you know, to say what? If it dies in the National Assembly, they will come and tell you, you know what, you didn't hear me when I went to this radio. I told them that it was a good constitution. I had nothing to do with it. It was the cabinet. We did not touch it. It was the parliament, sorry. We did not even touch it when it came to the cabinet. That's what they'll tell you. That's what they will tell you. But they don't mean it. Their goal is for this thing to fail. And we the citizens must not allow that to happen. We pay their salaries. We have sent them there to do a job. And you know what, Adam Abaro, if this fails, together with your National Assembly members, we'll take note of everybody who votes and where you stand. We will mobilize and campaign massively against you because you do not deserve to be our leader if you cannot stand up for what is in the interest of everybody. With that, guys, Thank you all so very much and let's keep on keeping on. We shall win and we will.
There is nothing that's going to stop us. Thank you.